for frequency and waves and current reading, okay? Current frequencies, pun intended. <laughs> Rolling the dice is okay. Oh, oops, let's go again. One was off word. So, like earlier, part of you know, the new video, I was shuffling and I got a, a an energy or, you know, a frequency of a lot of shifting up and movements, you know, and, um, or shifty energies, frequencies around you, and, you know, to seal that off, one of the dice fell off board, so that's like a confirmation to me, okay? Someone has one foot in and one foot out, okay? I've got three, four, three in green, okay? Four in red, okay? One person, um, <laughs> are your finances? Let me deal with the finances. First. Finances, your finances, your, um, it's, it's going to a reset right now, okay? Whatever reason that is. As well as you could be dealing with a cancer, okay? Also, you could be moon in Gemini, okay? You could have Gemini in your fourth house or in your, yeah, your moon placement. Okay, three in green. So this is like some third party situation here, okay? So someone definitely ha um, has one foot in and one foot out. Okay, let's see what the, you know, apparently, you know, those are the frequencies, energy surrounding you right now. Let's see what spirit has to say, okay? Oh shit, I realize what happened. Oh, I'm right on track. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Also, for another group of you, you could be talking marriage, okay? Or someone's going to discuss marriage um, with you. Um, or pregnancy, okay? Or you could be telling someone that you're pregnant, okay? But, like, this third party, you know, wishy-washy frequencies, like, you know, someone, they are um, already involved with someone, okay? And so, um, I feel like this is something they're not going to take well, okay? Also, someone here could have... Um, cancer in their third house okay or someone could be talking about cancer to you okay you could be at the doctor's office and the doctor could be telling you that you've got cancer or you could be discussing cancer treatments okay with your physician okay so lots of messages for you know everybody yeah who's gonna be listening and those are the messages Take what resonates. If you resonate with, you know, any of the messages, do not hesitate to DM me to book a personal reading. Okay, Spirit, what are the energies surround frequencies and energy surrounding Gemini? Okay, whether that's Moon in Gemini, Gemini Sun or Rising, you know, you just put forth the messages for your people. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one. So I've got um, yeah, definitely somebody in and out. There wish washiness going on. <laughs> we got 2200 to you know uh, zero 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 zero. So that that came out inverted. Okay, so something's gonna happen. You know, during 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's what I'm getting. And uh, yeah, could have. Gemini you know, rising I'm getting Scorpio Libra or Sagittarius Sun okay all right okay. so we got that that came out inverted okay that's for some quiz okay. okay so this could be someone you know telling you, you know at between the, the hours of 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. <laughs> someone's gonna call you and tell you they're pregnant or something or someone's gonna call you and tell you or text you and tell you that they want to get married or they want you to have their baby or they want to get pregnant for you yeah or someone could be calling you to tell you that they've got cancer okay let's see
Of course, this could also be someone's, you know, time of birth. Okay, whenever it was that they were born. Okay. Okay, Spirit wants me to pull now, okay. So, I've got X-Men. Okay, upright. And I've got Futurama upright of all the cards, okay? X-Men and Futurama came out. Okay. Okay, oh my god, a walk to remember, seriously, these same cards, <laughs> look at that, okay, we got a 4-3, okay, so, oh lord, so we got 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., we got X-Men, okay, weird shit happens at weird hours of the night, I suppose, but we got Futurama, and we got a walk to remember, okay, Let's dig into these cards. Okay, release negativity at the bottom of the deck. Release negativity. Frequency 417. Okay. You did pull a 4, you know. Balancing shit out. Okay. What is the X-Men frequency? Weird shit I'm getting. A lot of weird fucking shit. Because, you know, I'm already getting irritated. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm getting, you know, this could be like a prediction or, you know, a warning, Sila. Okay, a warning, okay, that someone gave someone else that actually, you know, about the future, okay, that is actually coming to fruition and being manifested, okay. With a walk to remember, you are reminiscing and remembering, you know, um, what this person told you, Gemini. All right, let's see here. Okay, we got 432, Tone of Nature, okay, Miracle. So that's the X-Men frequency. So I'm getting something extraordinary or something uncanny, okay? It doesn't have to be good. doesn't have to be bad. I've got Admirer, Inverted, okay? Damn. 444, four, four, Inverted, okay? So you, you've got a Secret Admirer, Gemini, Okay. And they, this person was led to you, okay, at the right time. That's the X-Men shit you guys got, okay? This secret admirer, whether you knew of this person, yes or no, they're being led to you, okay? Today, okay, they're going to contact you. Could be a call, could be a visit, okay? And this was like a prediction, something that was prophesied about the future. This is the future now. So now couple hours from now tonight you are gonna see you know um this materialize okay whatever this person told you okay or it could be what i'm telling you right now okay um or what i spoke of earlier so it's like a miracle though i feel like it's a miracle and that's what makes it you know so uncanny with the x-men frequency what is a futurama that's beautiful Futurama. Okay. And also, you know, getting soulmate, twin flame, you know, energies. Like, it is the age of the twin flames, the age of Aquarius. Okay? Frequency 11 and 111, 11, 11. Wishes and wishes being fulfilled. Sila. 
okay so a lot of twin flames i'm not gonna say really much soulmate because you know we are at the end of um a frequency okay i'm not gonna say age we are in the new age okay age of aquarius but um there's a new frequency that needs to emit from the age of aquarius which has been being you know held back by negative forces now you know we are propelling that's what i'm getting so this person could be you know a twin flame you know a fragment of your soul from a previous incarnation okay so you got a very uh, familiar frequency or feeling around them okay which is like so weird you know so you're in the future now in this carnation okay and you're reflecting you know you feel or you're having you know past life memories whether it is whilst you sleep or i don't know but i got um 12 to 1400 inverted this came out inverted okay sag rising i got sag rising so you could be dealing with the sagittarius rising or you know um so a a, a prophet prophetess a seer um a sage a wise person okay male or female um so they could have scorpio capricorn sagittarius rising they could have their son in gemini taurus or cancer okay as well as i'm i'm getting more of this is not a person with the Cancerian frequency and the Sagittarius frequency, I feel like this is like a something that you were told, okay, in the past, okay, in the past it was Sagittarius frequency, Cancerian frequency, prophetic, not yet realized, but now it is future Rama, it is the future, and the future is now, I'm getting, okay. this one earthquake damn the future is now earthquake this came out upright okay so you could be dealing with a virgo or you know this could be your frequency okay this could be your frequency virgo um i don't know where you got um can uh gemini highly aspected but like i said you could have uh gemini oh my god damn I saw Pisces. Didn't I see Pisces rising? No, 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 no. It wasn't another reading. Okay. But, you know, you could also have Moon in Gemini if you're a Pisces rising. Yeah. No wonder I said Moon in Gemini. And there, here we got the 432 tone. Okay. Which, you know, 42, you know, Moon in Gemini. So definitely you could be Virgo Sun, Pisces Rising, or you could be dealing with a Virgo Sun, Pisces Rising. Feel me? Yeah. You gotta, you know, you never, you can never be too certain. We are transmuting messages from the Great Spirit, but we allow room for, you know, what do you call it? Imperfection. So as to not be too certain of ourselves or too haughty. After all, it is a general reading. Okay. Walking on sunshine came out inverted. Okay, that was at, you know, the bottom. Not the bottom, but the immediate top. Um, walking on sunshine. You know, for some people, I feel like, oh my god <laughs> for some for some people you know um i'm gonna stick to this beautiful message because that's just standing out like mm. okay so this virgo is like an earthquake okay and i feel like someone you know a secret ad admirer okay okay Bring in this miraculous frequency tone of nature into your life because you were led or guided to some X-Men shit. Feel me? And what is this again? Oh, this is over here. Okay, and we got the Futurama. 
So this person could be futuristic, yeah. Aquarius frequencies, okay. And I feel like this uh, this person told you something in the past. Could, this could be in, in regarding an actual earthquake, okay? Or a blow up of any sort, okay? And here we got walking on sunshine inverted, okay? Um, someone coming into your life, bringing in sunshine. I'm going to clarify this earthquake frequency some more. Someone coming into your life, they're walking on sunshine like da 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 like you know fry in 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 um Futurama. I'm walking on sunshine oh, and he was like you know so confidently singing that song though he wasn't an excellent singer but he sounded so cute because he was in love. Okay. So I feel like a similar frequency. This is a very naturey, earthy kind of person, like an earth angel. Like I said, in I think was that Aries or was that Taurus is reading, and you know it's like they're walking on sunshine, and they're shaking um, shit up. Okay, what is the earthquake? Okay, earthquake. Okay, this could be your frequency, Gemini. You're causing, you know, you know, you're creating earthquakes. In diverse places <laughs> okay as well yeah as well as I feel like you are you know going through a turbulent you know period in your life but you know someone coming in they're coming in walking on sunshine okay to you know bring that miraculous tone of nature into your life Yeah, this person, they're going to bring a miracle, uh, miracle tone of nature, okay? Miraculous tone of nature into your life by walking. They're just going to waltz into your life, walking on sunshine, okay? Shaking shit up and getting earth and fire, okay? So the earthquake we got 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., Leo rising. Leo, Virgo, Cancer rising, Aquarius Sun, Pisces Sun, or Capricorn Sun, okay? Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, those frequencies, but it could also be, you know, the frequencies surrounding them, um, signs, as well as it could be someone's time of birth. So, okay, so a reset, which will be a gift also. So, remember I said four and three. Four reset to your finances and three for green so I'm getting like okay so this four it's a reset is that's the reset okay and but it's gonna lead to a gift so I got four and three a reset triggering a change okay or a reset leading to a change or a change leading to a reset but either way you you take it it is a reset and a change but this reset is on to a gift that's the kind of change it's six the change is six a gift not just any change but a, a a gift that's the kind of change and that's this person waltzing into your life because they both came out inverted walking on sunshine and that's what's causing the earthquake in your life okay Gemini Okay, this person, they're causing the earthquake in your life. Okay. But this was prophesied, okay? Okay, this was prophesied. A walk to remember. So you remember something that was prophesied. And um, that is now. And, you know, I f didn't even realize 2200 uh, for 10 p.m. That's also for leading to a, you know, master reset. Okay. For zero, 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 four zeros. Okay. Which is some X-Men shit. We go back to that. And it was prophesied. Okay. Or someone, you know, gave you a heads up or a warning. A walk to remember. What's this walk to remember?
I walking on sunshine, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got three nine six. A walk to remember is three nine six. Okay, and that says release of fears. And one seven four pain reliever. Okay. So I feel like uh, a similar connection. Though why I and you know why I'm getting this um third party frequency thing, which it doesn't necessarily gotta be that for everyone, okay? Um, which I feel like maybe you know it's a third party that was prophesied, you know, um, you know, manifested, you know, or it is what's manifesting now. Maybe you're about to become a part of a third party situation or maybe you know you are about to put someone in a third party situation but either way I feel like um, this person coming into your life they're walking on sunshine okay they you know they're a gift to you 666 I don't remember I think I got that for Taurus's reading okay and this person you know you're being you know beckoned to release your fears okay and walk with this person hand in hand just like she Shane West, my walk to remember how he, you know, he was such a jock at first, and, you know, she, I'm getting, you know, Pisces rising from Mandy Moore's role in that film, because she, she, Pisces is such a heavy water frequency, but it's not heavy, suffocating, well, can be, but not to your death. It is actually to enlightenment. So Pisces rising is like the true epitome of an earth angel, an angel here on earth. They've got such beautiful, mild spirits. They can even calm demons and devils. Okay, and you know that's what she kind of did. You know, she transformed that demon boy to an angel like herself. <laughs> and you know, but you know, we gotta give him credit because he releases here. He didn't have to give in. He still had free will. And I'm not going to say devil boy, devil boy. But you know what I mean. So, you know, you're being called to release your fears, okay? The pain reliever is here. Okay? The pain reliever is here. Someone walking in sunshine, walking into your life. Okay? They admire you. They were led your way. Gemini. Okay? So, like I said... You don't have to be moon in Gemini, Gemini rising, Gemini sun, Venus in Gemini, Mars in Gemini, Mercury in Gemini. Okay, you're going to be leading Gemini, your fourth house in Gemini, that's prominent. That's your, you know, that still uh, synchronizes, my my apologies, synchronizes with your moon placement. Because the moon placement can turn that is the fourth house, okay, but it's also your IC, okay, which is connected to your midheaven, okay, it's a tra transit path that you take to uh, uh, accumulate, you know, or accomplishing um, your, your midheaven, whatever your midheaven is, it's the route that you take, so it is important, okay, as well, and um, your second house and seventh house, because they all seem with your Venus placements, okay? Your third and house is synchronized with your Mercury placement, uh, placements, okay? And um, your 12th house, that's your belief system, not to mention your rising sign, which is your spirit, your essence, okay? That's why I said Pisces rising are like earth angels because that's the, the most advanced of the zodiacal frequencies. And for it to be, you know, your spirit, you are super enlightened. You are an enlightened being, a master, master of self, master of spirit, okay, and master of balance and justice is come before Pisces, right? okay, before Pisces. So this person is a pain reliever and uh, a gift, me that the deck I've got for is, okay, drought. So you you are experiencing a doubt right now. It doesn't necessarily have to be financial. Be financial, okay? You need a job. You need financial support. And I feel like that's coming in. A lot 
out of it. Meteor shower, okay? Meteor shower. And you know, that's, that's not just one meteorite, okay? That's meteorites for you. So, drought. It is a job coming in. A lot of blessings coming in for this admirer that you've got. Gemini. Wherever you've got Gemini highly aspected. Um, they, they are coming in to water you, but with, you know, fire. Set you on fire, okay? Yeah. So, that's what I got for you. Uh, there is a negative undertone message for another group of Geminis, which I don't want to play into. Um, for some people, this this is what you need, okay? Okay, this is what you need. You're experiencing drought now, and, you know, you are with someone who is, like, destructive fire, okay? And they're destroying shit. They're like a nightmare, but... Um, strongly for most of you, I'm getting that beautiful message where in which you need help, assistance, and this secret admirer, admirer, you know, walking on sunshine, it walks into your life. They're going to be a pain reliever to the pain, heartache, whatever it is you're going through, and they're going to be releasing your fears, whatever it is for lack of, you know, physicalities whether it's food money clothing shelter whatever and it's gonna they're gonna give you a lot of this okay they're gonna give you a lot of this someone coming in they're very much transformed and like i said an advanced being so that's what i got for you gemini's namaste